Hello everybody, how are we doing out there today? My name is Matt, welcome back to the channel, eBay Pipes Man. Got a quick video for you today, gonna go out sourcing, hitting several stores, Marshalls, Ross, Burlington, thrift stores, Play-Dohs, Uptown, Cheapskates, and see what they have out there that we can turn around and flip for a profit. Let me know how it's been out there at your stores. Uh, so let me say thank you to everybody out there who has subscribed to the channel. I really appreciate you. If you are not subscribed, go ahead and consider uh, subscribing now at this time. If you do enjoy the video, of course, give me a thumbs up and drop me a comment down below. Wish me some luck out here today, and we will see you in just a minute. All right, everybody. I had to stop at Lowe's and get a few supplies, but let me show you some of the thrift finds. Uh, got these Birkenstocks right here. I sold these on Macari for like $48 plus shipping. And I maybe could have got a little bit more out of those, but you know I like the quick flips. And those were in excellent condition, almost brand new. And this is a brand that I don't find that often on Cloud. I already sold these on eBay too, uh, 70 bucks plus shipping. And I did see even used comps, uh, some of those as much as $100. I uh, got these Cole Hans. I'm going to have to replace the laces. I think these are the 2.0 grands, like a blue suede shoe. Uh, yeah, all these shoes, uh, any average, anywhere from like 6 or $8. Got these Sass. Sass is a good brand. They can take a little while to sell, uh, but those were in great condition. Uh, this is another great brand to be on the lookout for, uh, Keen. And the thing with these uh, used shoes, I mean, make sure the condition's good, make sure it's a good brand, and make sure your buy cost uh, is low enough to make some money. I would recommend anybody who wants to get into used shoes to go follow uh, Renzi and uh, pretty much follow their um, you know, reselling model. Uh, the way they average their shoes, the way they source everything. And so here in another thrift store, uh, this is a great brand to be on the lookout for, Solomon. These can bring really good money. It wouldn't surprise me these shoes uh, right here bring uh, 50 plus. These are women's. Those are in excellent condition. Got some more sass right here, uh, loafers, and... Uh, got some brooks right here now i already sold these on uh, poshmark these were missing uh insoles and one of the laces were cut so I went ahead and got rid of them even found some shoe springs there um yeah echo's a good brand see the condition of these that's what you want to look for um sketchers i do pick up sketchers i already sold these for 25 plus shipping yeah but a lot of used shoes uh you want to get them and you want to be able to take them home and be able to do very little and go ahead and list them these are some Kohan burgundy uh, leather cap toe uh, shoes you see the condition of those too so you have to pass on a lot of pairs uh, but you want to you want to just get the best ones you can find and uh, you know I uh, found some of these uh, air forces uh, this is an easy fix they just need laces and cleaning up yeah, and since these uh, other retail stores have been dry, I mean, I've just uh, been having to thrift a lot more, which I really don't mind doing. I'm here at Marshall's uh, right now just looking around, see if, seeing if I see anything. And this Marshall's I go to is really small. They got uh, some of these uh, Timberland boots, pretty, pretty clean looking boot, uh, $69.99 on those. They had three or four pair of those, but that's pretty much about all that I've seen there. Uh, they did have some of these Columbia boots right here. Um, I didn't even bother looking those up. I think they were about the same amount of money, like 50 or 60 bucks. And they got some of these uh, Kohan uh, Zero Grands right here. I think they wanted uh, 60 bucks for those as well. Uh, so definitely had to pass on those. All right, so also I wanted to mention uh, this cook group, Bread and Butter. Uh, this is Adam over at Millennial Profits. Him and one of his uh, friends, Hayden, has started this cook group. Uh, if any of you are interested, I'll put a link down in the description below. But I, I joined recently, and I'm definitely glad I did. It just opened my eyes to a lot of different things that I can source. So go ahead and check them out. All right, so we're going in everybody's favorite store, Ross Dress for Less and see if we can find anything let me know how it's been out there at your rosses uh so i mean the shelves are full 
a lot of shoes in here uh, but pretty much just average stuff but like I say hey you never know uh, till you go and you never know what you can find until you look so uh, we definitely still want to hit these stores we never know when a restock could come in we never know when some good shoes are going to start showing up and i guess it's different for everybody it just depends on the area you live in they got some of these converse and um, got some of these adidas right here one thing i wanted to mention has anybody noticed that at ross uh, they started cutting the tags off of converse uh, got some of these reebok connects right here yes yeah, pretty crazy that they've been cutting the tags off also i found these reeboks right here um, some kind of deadhead collab maybe i did pass on these uh, i think they were about 50 bucks they did have one comp that looked pretty good but uh, i just wasn't feeling them right there and um, we got this nike barcelona hoodie jacket whatever you want to call it retail hundred dollars and 30 bucks ross price I did end up passing on it it was pretty plain and only had one sold and it sold for like fifty dollars so uh had to let it go but hey uh looked it up and did the research and just had to let it go so found these uh dot martin boots right here these are the i think 1919 anyway they had a pretty big scuff there on the toe and they were 60 bucks and they were a women's size six um, I think these definitely would have made some money, uh, you know, if they were a little better size and they didn't have the damage on the front. And I also do believe those are steel toes too, but uh, they had some uh, a decent comps on those, but I had to leave those behind because of the scuff. Uh, so found some more Doc Martens right here. These are like some men's slip-on shoes. Uh, comps were terrible on those, and uh, those were 50 bucks. So some Doc Martens are still showing up. I know I've got two or three pair at home and they hadn't sold yet, but I'm hoping they'll sell, you know, uh, when we get some cooler weather or during uh, Q4. Uh, so I'm here in the women's section. I've got some of these Timberland boots, kind of like a rose gold color. And uh, just looking around, seeing if I see any more uh, Doc Martens or anything. Uh, got some more of the Timberland boots, $65 on those. So, yeah, it's been pretty rough at my stores. Got these uh, Under Armour. Didn't even know what those are. Hope they're not worth $1,000 because I didn't look them up. And this is what I wanted to show you on the, on the Converse right here. Look at this tag right here. I mean, it's destroyed. I don't know why in the world they would cut the entire tag out of Converse. Uh, it's not like Converse are um, a super expensive shoe. I mean, we have found some good uh, Converse at Ross before that are super rare, but uh, not just the average Converse. I don't know why you're cutting the tag out of those. Uh, got some Adidas track shoes there. Looking at the book bags. And here's some more I found in the women's section. I mean, it has the whole tag cut out. But anyway, I uh, don't know what you're doing, Ross. Uh, but you know uh, so that's why right now I'm just transitioning to more uh, thrift stores I'm here at Uptown uh, Cheapskates and believe it or not they got two pony uh, shoes sitting up there on the rack and they, somebody probably picked them up from Burlington found these Cortezes uh, these gold ones uh, probably could have made a little money with these 20 bucks uh, they were in pretty decent condition small size, but I decided to leave those behind so uh, Yeah, that's pretty much the video today. I could show you uh, thrift finds all day long uh, But I know the the video's got a lot of thrift finds in it already So I appreciate everybody watching today. Hope you enjoyed the video We're gonna get some more videos up for you soon uh, Let me know how your sales have been going. Let me know how your how it is uh, out there sourcing. I appreciate everybody watching. Take care. Stay blessed. And we will catch you on the next video.